Hello dear students welcome to practical biochemistry the topic is estimation of plasma glucose level by GOD POD method glucose oxidase peroxidase that means GOD POD method it's a accurate specific and selectively estimates D glucose in the plasma for this method we have to collect blood sample in a fluoride vacuum so this is fluoride vacuum why fluoride vacuum because it contains sodium fluoride that inhibits the enolase enzyme in the glycolytic pathway so that it inhibits glycolysis hence the blood glucose level stabilizes what is the principle of this method in this method we are using two enzymes first one glucose oxidase and second one peroxidase the glucose oxidase enzyme converts d glucose that is present in the plasma to the gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide h2o2 now this peroxidase enzyme converts hydrogen peroxide h2o2 into water h2o and nascent oxygen now this nascent oxygen is accepted by amino antipyrin it's a oxygen acceptor it combines with the phenol to give the pink color chromogen so that is the principle of this practical now reagents which reagents we are using for this practical glucose reagent it contains glucose oxidase peroxidase four amino antipyrin and phenol the second is glucose standard the value is 100 mg per dl now which precautions you should maintain during this practical procedure uses sodium azide which used as preservative and phenol which is a caustic do not swallow avoid contact with the skin and mucous membrane of these solutions now the procedure first you have to take three test tubes and label the test tube with blank standard and test now add 1 ml of the reagent in all three test tubes blank standard and test now add 10 microliter of the glucose standard in the standard test tube add 10 microliter of the plasma to the test test tube and add 10 microliter of the water to the blank test tube mix well incubate at 37 degree celsius temperature for 10 minute and read absorbent at 520 nanometer Now here it's the procedure you have to take three test tubes and label first test tube as a blank second test tube as a standard and third test tube as a test you just have to write the capital letters like B for blank S for standard and T for test Now take one ml of the reagent in all three test tubes. Now add 10 microliter water in blank test tube. Add 10 microliter standard in standard test tube. Add 10 microliter plasma in test test tube. Mix well and incubate at 37 degree Celsius temperature for 10 minutes. Now take all three test tube reading on colorimeter at 520 nanometer wavelength.
Now the observations. OD of blank 0.00. OD of standard 0.24. OD of taste 0.48. Now here it's the calculation part. The formula for this calculation is equal to OD of taste minus OD of blank divided by OD of standard minus OD of blank multiplied by concentration of the standard. So here OD of taste is 0.48 minus OD of blank 0.00 divided by OD of standard 0.24 minus OD of blank 0.00 multiplied by 100 that is the concentration of the standard so here is equal to 0 0.48 divided by 0 0.24 multiplied by 100 is equal to 200 milligram per dl so result the concentration of glucose in given plasma sample is 200 milligram per dl what is the reference range fasting blood sugar fbs 70 mg per dl to 110 mg per dl random blood sugar rbs less than 140 mg per dl postprandial blood sugar less than 140 mg per dl we estimated the random blood sugar normal value less than 140 mg per dl but we are getting 200 mg per dl so the condition is known as hyperglycemia Now interpretation, which are the causes of hyperglycemia? Diabetes mellitus, this is the most common cause of hyperglycemia. Hyperthyroidism, hyperadrenalism, hyperpituitarism, disease of pancreas like pancreatitis and carcinoma. It may be drug induced, the drug is steroids. So all these are the causes of hyperglycemia. Which are the causes of hypoglycemia? Accidental or the administration of insulin in diabetes, no intake of food after insulin administration, tumors of pancreas, insulinoma, glycogen storage disease, hypoactivity of thyroid, adrenals and pituitary gland. So all these are the causes of hypoglycemia. If you like this presentation, please try to share it with your batch, friends, group and colleague. Thank you so much everyone.